What's up, you guys? So today we are digging into the super secret dating life of one of my favorite artists, Janelle Monet. Janelle Monet is a highly talented and versatile artist known for her multifaceted career in music, acting, and activism. And as a fan of hers, I've watched her transform her brand from appearing very conservative and buttoned up in the beginning to now being very free spirited and liberal and progressive. And for me, it's been a beautiful journey to watch. So in this video, we're gonna get into Janelle Monae's alleged dating history, the people who may have inspired Janelle Monae along her journey. But first, if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe. And if you want to see more of this type of content from me, hit the thumbs up button and let YouTube know you're feeling your girl. Okay, so let's start with Janelle Monae's identity, which she considers to be non-binary. Janelle Monae told Jada Pinkett Smith in her April 2022 Red Table Talk appearance, quote, I just don't see myself as a woman solely. I feel all of my energy. I feel like God is so much bigger than the he or the she. If I'm from God, I'm everything. I am everything. So that is why Janelle Monet identifies as non-binary because she feels that God is bigger than gender. And if she's from God, then she must be too. However, she went on to say, but I will always, always stand with women. I will always stand with black women, but I just see everything that I am beyond the binary. And as far as her sexuality, four years prior to that Red Table Talk in 2018, Janelle opened up about her sexual preferences in an interview with Rolling Stone. She identifies as both queer, pansexual, and a free mf -er. <laughs> She told Rolling Stone, quote, being a queer Black woman in America, someone who has been in relationships with both men and women, I consider myself to be a free mf -er. In that same interview, Janelle also revealed that she identified first as bisexual, then later pansexual. And within hours, pansexual became the most searched term on Merriam-Webster for that day. Janelle Monet's revelation that she was pansexual was a surprise to the world and many of her fans since she had not talked openly about her sexuality to the world. It was only in the lyrics of her music. Janelle told Out.com, quote, I've had songs like Queen where I just didn't make it a big thing. You know what I'm saying? Meaning, like when I came out with Queen, it was always in my lyrics from my first album. I just didn't feel a need to go do an interview. But I knew when I was releasing Dirty Computer, I was like, oh, this is so much honesty in this project that I'm going to have to just figure this out on the front end, what I want to talk about and what I don't. And I just felt more comfortable with diving deeper into what it meant to be queer. What it meant to also have a community that you wanted to feel seen and be heard. So there was a lot of vulnerability. It wasn't easy because I'm a super private person. But if you look back, if you look at my first album, my second album, I always talked about my attraction to whatever I'm attracted to. I've always done it. I think this though, this project was more declarative. And that's in reference to her new album. So now that we understand Janelle's identity and how she labels her sexuality, let's jump into her rumored past romances. Hollywood Life reports, another romance under Janelle's belt was one with British race car driver, Lewis Hamilton. The professional driver and Janelle were linked to each other in 2015 after they made headlines for getting rejected at a fashion show in Paris per TMZ. Lewis and his then leading person had attempted to get into the Stella McCartney show. However, they were not allowed inside because they had arrived late. And UK Publication Express reported that the two were seen kissing outside of that Stella McCartney fashion show event. They reported the 30-year-old Formula One champion shared a kiss with the American Beauty at Paris Fashion Week today. Louis and Janelle looked very comfortable in each other's company as they greeted each other with a peck outside British designer Stella McCartney's show. It appeared Louis was pleased to see the R&B star as he was grinning from ear to ear. 
Then whatever relationship Janelle and Lewis had seemed to fizzle out at some point and rumors started to swirl that Janelle was dating actress Tessa Thompson. Hollywood Life reports, one of Janelle's most known rumored relationships is with Men in Black 4 star Tessa Thompson. The two first sparked romance speculation after Tessa starred in Janelle's music video, Make Me Feel, in 2018. In the iconic video, Janelle and Tess had major on-screen chemistry and fans quickly began to think that they were romantically involved. Despite the duo's obvious chemistry in the music video, Tessa later discussed whether or not they were dating during a June 2018 interview with Netta Porter. She said, quote, it's tricky because Janelle and I are just really private people and we're both trying to navigate how you reconcile wanting to have that privacy and space and also wanting to use your platform and influence. Although she did not explicitly confirm they were an item, Tessa did declare her love for Janelle. She said, quote, we love each other deeply. We're so close. We vibrate on the same frequency. If people want to speculate about what we are, that's okay. It doesn't bother me. And I think that last statement is interesting because that's the same statement that you'll hear Lapita Nyong'o say about rumors that her and Janelle Monet are or were dating. She says the same thing. If people want to speculate about what we are, that's okay. It doesn't bother me. In any case, the romance between Tessa and Janelle Monet seemed to be over just a year or two after it began. And in 2021, Janelle was photographed kissing her frequent collaborator, Nate Wonder. Nate Wonder and Janelle Monet are partners at a record label and production company called Wonderland Art Society. In addition to working on the music for the film Antebellum, Nate Wonder has also contributed to the soundtracks of I May Destroy You, Us, and 2016's Best Picture Oscar winner, Moonlight, which also co-starred Janelle Monet. HollywoodLife.com reports, aside from Janelle Sparks with Tessa, the Dirty Computer singer was previously linked to musician Nate Wonder. Not only were they rumored to be dating, but the pair also are frequent music collaborators. In April 2021, Page Six reported that the musicians were spotted getting cozy on a boat in Cabo together. And Page Six reported, Wonder and Monet met at Atlanta's Morehouse College in the early aughts and have been creative collaborators ever since. The outing where they were spotted sharing a kiss could have possibly been in celebration of Nate Wonder as Janelle Monet and several others wished the musician a happy birthday via social media the same day. Janelle posted a now deleted IG post with the caption, a true wonderland. Happy birthday to my favorite Nate Rocket Wonder at Nate Wonderful. She also shared a childhood photo of Nate Wonder calling him her quote, favorite planet and including kissing and heart emojis in the dedication. And it should be noted in this May 2023 Rolling Stone interview, the reporter says that Nate Wonder was at Janelle Monet's home during one interview session. So apparently they have a close enough relationship where she would want him present during her cover interview with Rolling Stone. And you guys, Lupita Nyong'o also appeared to be present at Janelle Monet's recent Rolling Stone cover interview. And she talked to Rolling Stone about her relationship with Janelle Monet. Rolling Stone reports a couple of years back, Nyong'o was tickled by rumors that she and Janelle were an item. Lapita told them, quote, she has a magnetism that they were obviously picking up on. She is that enigmatic. People are curious about enigmatic people. I was not surprised and I don't mind being associated with her in any capacity. And that's the same thing that Tessa Thompson said about rumors that she was dating Janelle. I don't mind being associated with her in any capacity. Rolling Stone goes on to say when Nyong'o was first ascending the heights of Hollywood after winning the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress in 12 Years a Slave, she met Janelle Monet at her first Met Gala. Lupita told Rolling Stone, quote, This world is still extremely new to me and unbelievable. Janelle came up to me and just gave me the realest hug. I think we may have swayed to the music. She was just like, I'm so proud of you and just thank you for being you. 
Celebrity interactions can feel shallow and ephemeral. This one was not. Lupita said, quote, at some point, Janelle asked me for my phone number, put her phone number in and said, let's stay in touch. She was like, I really mean it. If you need anything, I'm here for you. Ever since, Janelle's been someone Lupita Nyong'o can rely on, whether for advice in a moment of crisis or a party invite, as Janelle often throws parties at her recording space, Wonderland West, and those parties are what inspired her latest album, The Age of Pleasure. So you guys, those are all of the people that Janelle Monet has been rumored to have dated since she has been known worldwide. Leave a comment and let me know if you're surprised by any of the people on this list. I was surprised by Lapita Nyong'o, and I was also surprised because I actually thought she had been dating Nate Wonder the whole time that she's been a part of Wonderland, not just starting in 2021. So that surprised me. But leave a comment and let me know which person surprised you the most. And as always, thanks for watching.